In this video you'll learn how to use 2ds Max for enhancing your interoperability moving from modeling tools like Revit, Masari and SketchUp into the Ecotech environment. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky to effectively import more complex geometry but by taking it in, taking it in to 2ds Max you can really speed up this process. Okay, I have now opened Autodesk Revit and I think you're really gonna like this video. A lot of times when you're moving geometry to into Ecotech it's a bit tricky no matter if it's really simple geometry or coming from from a SketchUp or it's more complex geometry as this BIM model here and to take it into Ecotech can be a bit tricky. But first of all let's see what's happening if I try to take this geometry into Ecotech using the DXF format. So I'm just going to export this out as a DXF file and of course I know that you can use DBXML but this is really just a quicker way to and to maintain the visibility of the model. So I'm going to hit it there and just again the one that I just did and then I'm going into Ecotect and just going to, to files import 2D geometry and go to choose here I want to have the DXF format here let's say choose file and okay gonna kick in the DXF file from Revit and as you'll see that it's not too fond of curtain walls. So what you have to do now is just simply going to and isolate these if it's not recognizable by the program to so set this as gotta be the floors, it's gotta be the stairs, let's set that as a partition, let's say what's that's the placing, let's set that as windows and you're of course able to map it down to the exact material but let's say what is this here, this is the millions, let's put them into walls and okay and just say okay we want to zone it by not by file but by item name okay and just import it into existing okay let's see what how this is looking okay this doesn't look too good does it so what i want to do is i want to take all of these here now and i want to put them into group add zone to group and call this dxf import okay and i want to turn this off what i would do now is that I'll go back to Revit and I'll export this as an FBX file. I'll open up 2ds Max and I'll go and to reference to my filing manager and I'll go to link to the file like this and I'll choose combined by Revit category and then I can attach this file. I already did that so here is just my really nice file and because 2ds Max is really more effective in understanding geometry so when I now export this back as a 3ds like that and then I'm going into Ecocheck again and I'm going to file import 2d cat geometry say so choose file and just k okay, I want the 2ds file here so the 3ds there and open that up and it really looks a lot better doesn't it so what i have to do now is okay go through it pretty simple to say this is my windows this is my panels you see they now they're connected in a proper way go to material set as wall floor and just set the stairs as partitions okay and then just import into existing and when it's done doing these triangulations you'll have a very nice and clean model that you can do shadow studies on you could do daylight simulations and stuff like that. So really just a smart trick and you can use that as well if you're importing geometry from Rhino or SketchUp just to take it into to, um, to, Ecotech, to Ecotech by using 2ds Max as the link.